Hello my cobalt and creatures and welcome to episode 4 of Age of Scales, my single player survival Minecraft thing. Last episode we were working on the barn and doing a bit of housekeeping, making the nether portal that you can hear, a few bits and pieces. Um, I've done nothing so far between episodes as I want to sort of make a new rule for myself that I'm never not recording whilst in the world. Hopefully that means I'm not going to be wasting as much time and hopefully I'm not skipping out on anything. Also, as mentioned, new skin. Again, I thought I'd go with some overalls and some boots seeing as though we're going to be doing a lot of farming and such in the recent episodes. So, let's get started. First thing on today's list is a torch spam. I'm going to grab as many torches as I can, cover the area in an annoying torch spam because I am sick and tired of mobs just jumping out of nowhere. So I'll do that and jump back. Here we go, step one done. Torch spam. It, it's not covering everything but it's it's enough to stop creepers from popping up randomly inside houses. Now I'm just taking notes next on my to-do list. Well it's quite clear torch spams are quite ugly. So next on my actual to-do list is to actually immediately clean all this up <laughs> but I'm not going to be running around destroying torches because we actually still need the light everywhere now we're going to decorate the roads so that they have some like inbuilt lights of some kind I mean they'll be moved and repositioned as more houses come in but to start off with we need to figure something out now unlike the builds where I've gone into creative and sort of plan them out a bit. I've not done that with the road. Um, I'm going to just stick with some true tried and tested ideas. I was hoping I'd have more of those. And more of that. Yeah, that'll probably be enough to get a start at least. <laughs> Sun's already set in, but I'll just quickly do this and show off the next step of building up these roads. And I've just noticed something that's going to be irritating. Because these are half slabs, that ain't going to work. <laughs> oh, that's not good. And I don't want to redo the entirety of the road to be on the full slabs, because that won't look right. I'm going to go sleep. Practically sleep. Uh, you know, sleep it over, have a think, and figure out what I want to do with the... W the uh, the road. <laughs> I'll be back. Okay, creative testing world. You can see I've, I pop in here now and again in between episodes, but you can see like where the barn was, like the first house and the designs. So we're gonna spend a lot of time working out a road design that works. Okay, so I think we have a little plan. So pop into creative world where I sort of plan things out a bit. Uh, I thought I'd show you the process. So this is sort of what we got so far but the lower down slabs are causing a problem with any variation. So if I raise it up, let me throw that out, there you go. Uh, so you can throw torches underneath to give some light and then hanging lanterns and that should hopefully solve our light problem. A lot of these ends will still be like the um, they'll, they'll be covered up, you know, the blocks where it's bark on all sides. Um, I don't think there's enough variation though in this. So what you got? Stripped spruce. Maybe that. Throw in a bit of that as we go. I I think that'll work. Uh, problem is chains. That's a lot of iron. Same with the lanterns and. Rather than going with four slabs because I thought that was bulky, we've gone with half slabs into a, into a trapdoor. It's not too expensive to make, but it should look nice. So let's stop messing around creative world, hop back into the real world. The the real world? No 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 no. The hop back into the Age of Scales map. Well, it's a start. One lantern in, raising up the floor, and yeah, I am quite happy with the progress. 
So there is one thing I want to experiment with, and that is to try and break up it more with a bit of with a bit of course dirt. And you know what? I quite like the look of that, but as long as it's not too frequent. Just just a piece here or there. You know what? I'm gonna move that into that one. there just to break it up a bit more so that's a nice little bit of variation and because it's coarse dirt it won't turn to dirt see the problem is with stairs nothing else blends so if we just don't go too crazy um yeah so addition to the it addition is the coarse dirt because I really like that what I'm going to start doing is getting things in place but I've been able to gather most of the materials now I'm going to need a lot more though to get the actual road done because this is going to be quite a resource sink now I can use that uh, scaffolding oh, click for uh, is it for there we go. And, uh, oh, how am I going to get up there? So I need to crouch. And stick a chain on. And grab my lantern. And then a second one. And I like that, so rather than having them opposite each other, I would want them a bit spread out. And with having torches underneath some of the trapdoors, it should give me enough light and I can start getting rid of some of the torches. Not all of them, but by the time we put houses and everything, we should be getting there. Not the sun setting, but I'm not in a rush to actually end this clip. So that's throwing some more, and then hopefully the sun will set and we can see this with the sun now let's drop it there uh, realizing I don't actually have any more um, lanterns on me still it's gonna look nice like I said this is gonna be a bit of a time sink so I am just going to be doing this off camera. So, oh, I can do it off camera, or I can try the first time lapse.
bargy. Uh, it has been a l very long week of just uh, stuff. So, decorating the inside of the barn in between, but it's just a lot of placing random odds and ends, so nothing special. But at least I've got a bed in here now, so it's more places to stop over. What I do want to show you after that long time lapse, if time lapse works, is the finished roads. Yay! <laughs> Uh, it's taken so long to get this done but yeah the textures all in is that to be dropped down half the slab and all these lanterns are in place and in quite a lot of these sections there are little torches hiding everything and that is the big project the big exhausting arduous project next though hopefully it's a little bit more fun I need to build a mill a wood mill because I'm sick of having random trees just popping up from nowhere as a source of well wood to build houses it was here I've started changing the stone into grass while I was doing some of the road so I need to find a spot find a design and start working on the next building which I'll get done in this episode even if it takes a little longer than a week to get it done. I doubt it. It'll probably be a day or two, but... <laughs> That's enough rambling. Let's get on with the next build. Yeah, so, work on the mill. And, um... Yeah, after that, just finished the episode and... <laughs> okay, um... I guess... Oh, I, I must have left that at home. Oh well. Let's clear out these guys and show off where the mill is going to go. Uh, quick killing time lapse. <laughs> We're dying for the clip, okay. <laughs> Try again. <laughs> uh, also, good start with this meal, aren't we? Okay, hopefully we can end it this time. <laughs> there we go, killed them. Now, I have laid out where the mill is going to go. Made a bit of a plan, made a bit of design, and it should be going right here. So, the plan being, there's going to be a ramp on the side where people will sort of pull trees up, up a ramp, into the mill bit. And this bit that juts out on the side here is like a sorting area. So we've got a plan. Step one, get the foundation of cobble in. And I need to work out the height. So I'm assuming... Um, do, 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 yeah, good place to start. The floor will be this high. Yeah. The floor's going to be this high. A uh, cobblestone floor for the main walkway. Spruce, I think, indeed. I'll do that. I'll come back. <laughs> Working on the foundations. Cobblestoning in place. All these pillars marking out the area. We've got. Well, the base plan is we've got an oak area at the back here. And we're going to have a bit of storage, a bit of decoration. And here's where the trees get cut, and then the idea is this is a ramp where you'd... Well, in games won't be doing it, but for story reasons you can imagine that trees get hauled up this ramp, thrown onto the blades where they get cut up and can then get transported out through the doors, either through the back here, or down here where I'm extending the road. Extended it as well so that's a bit of a walkway so you don't have to go in the building to go down there. So, yeah. Need to extend the road again that way at some point and then i'm assuming what i'm going to do is have it go down this way a bit connect back around again and then probably head off left either connect where the portal is or behind where the portal is kind of thing now as i was building i saw i'm hallucinating for what aren't i i I'm certain I just saw a group of a group pillages down here just before recording. <laughs> so 
seeing things, going crazy. It is so warm here at the moment that I'm just like, <laughs> slowly going insane. So, where was I? Um, yeah, I was putting in the roads. Don't talk over when you're eating. Um, gonna like, join the road up so it connects around here, connects all that. I'm gonna do that off camera. But um, then we need to work on the next stage of the building. I don't have any building material. But the idea is this is just gonna match the same type of architecture those two houses have reached. But this section here, we're gonna triangle up. Whereas this bit here, I'm just gonna do like a small sloping thing with slabs. And I think I'll only bring the, uh, the building, actually change that to here so the roof will connect onto these slabs here slabs these pillars oh, yep argy bargy um yeah the idea is you want the roof to stick out a bit so we got this bit here so it will stick out there yeah all good all set up i just need to start like working on it and Rather than back and forth, I'm just gonna jump in, jump out with updates to this with this one. It's just so much easier. <laughs> so I'm back in the Moski. I knew it. I knew I weren't seeing things. Oh my god, there's someone in the house as well. <laughs> no, don't. Do not destroy my terraforming. Yep. Mm. <sighs> I'll fix that next episode. <laughs> okay, so. House, mill, thing, is done. There is a creeper on my roof still. <laughs> but that is today's episode practically done. We've worked way too much on roads and then got a little mill finished. So, give a little tour of this thing. So we've got the little shallowed roof and the tall roof. <laughs> so I need to put the chains in, but I'll do that between episodes. And the little tufty bit that sticks out here is different on all of them. There is a block of dirt on that one. I'll have to do that in a second. Um, so, we got in, and we have the mill. Trees getting chops, turned into planks, extra bed, all nice decorative building. And also I've got my grindstone here if I ever need it. Although it's a stone cutter, it just looks nice cutting trees in half. Then we go up here, and we have a bunch of barrels ready for some wood storage. So I can start stocking up on materials in between episodes. Now this is the decorative side of it. Next episode, probably set up the proper tree area. So I can actually safely put trees down without getting pods all or anything like that. And after I've done that, next episode, I'm probably going to work on finishing off the starter house, getting the other modules in, the big section here, the tower, so we've got a good place to overlook. And that is the mill and the roads from this episode. Thanks for watching. Stick it around right till the end. I've been Cobalt Queen. This has been Age of Scales. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Ooh. <laughs>